Welcome to another episode of Big Lee's Corner. All right, last night I seen my predictions, and but anyway, I watched K Dog's predictions. The only thing is, even though he predicted Kyle Larson, the only thing he didn't do on his video was take advantage of his free draw. So I'm going to assume he's not going to bother. However, what I'm going to do is, I got. But anyway, as you see on my video yesterday. I picked the 41 Kurt Busch as my free as my first free draw. Because to be honest, man, I'll be surprised. He's the least I was, he's the least I would expect to make the final four. Like I said, out of all my first round elimination predictions, he and Jimmy Johnson were the only two I was serious about. I mean, Bowman and Blaney I just threw in there because I just couldn't think of any other bottom two. But Kurt is the only one out of my first round elimination predictions that made it to the third round. And like I said, he was only one of the two I was serious about. But no, he surprised me by making it to the third round. However, I've seen some people predicting Kurt Busch on Facebook and then they're getting laughed at. Really? You're going to laugh about that? All right, Kurt never made the Final Four before, but there's a first time for everything. And might I remind you, neither is Chase Elliott. All fairness, Kurt had twice more chases in the past than Chase Elliott has. I mean, the playoff grids. And might I add, one of those eliminations was by rain delay. Which I guaranteed Logano would have gotten that Phoenix victory, but who's to say that Brad and Carl or Kirk, the other three drivers eliminated in that round, wouldn't have gotten that pass. So yeah, I'm going with the least likely number 41. Hopefully written 41. Now, however, since K Dog didn't take advantage of his free pick. I got the other seven names in here, including my third pick. So, even though I would suspect K Dog to either pick the four, the 78, the 18, or the nine, but just in case he would have happened to pick one of the other three, I got all seven names in here. All right. Let's see who K Dog's pick is. Free pick is. Uh, well, it's not a free pick anymore. And it was my third pick. Sorry, K Dog, you got 22. All right. Well, I did have a backup plan. So let me pick out my free pick. This ain't him. This might be him. I'm going to pick the guy who I believe is going to win the championship. Number four, Kevin Harvick. So I got Kurt and Harvick versus Logano. Sad day for me, really. But I want to make sure this was on film so no one would think it's rigged. I mean, all fairness, I had all three Penske drivers and Clint Boyer. You would think it would have to be rigged if you didn't know better. All right, now K Dog's actual pick uh, from the hat. Sorry, I got these sticky post it notes. Uh, finally, I'm not stuck with the number nine. <laughs> okay, so K Dog's got 22 and 9. Now for my first pick from the hat. Either way, I'm satisfied no matter who it is. But I'm really cheer But Truex is the second name I'm cheering against, so. I got both Bush brothers now. Both Bush brothers and the man that's sponsoring Bush Beer. <laughs> Two of them are stuck together. Okay, redraw. 
Unfortunately, I don't get and get Clint Boyer for a change either. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, that's right. I got three. He's got three. So. All right, my final pick. Eric Amarella. I'm happy to have Eric Amarella any day. And I think this is my first time picking him. Excuse me while Little Bit's trying to steal the Chase Elliott from K-Dog with Key. Little Bit, are you trying to give me the number nine? You trying to give me number nine? All right. And that leaves K-Dog with Mark Trix Jr., the defending champion. So here we have it. K Dog's at 22, 78, number 9, and 14. While well, I myself got the 10 and 18, and the 4, and for once, the one guy I want to see win it the most, Kurt Busch. Usually it's Logano, but if you realize this, Fourteen years ago, Kurt was the last man to win a championship in the Ford on Cup. Because I'm not counting Chris Busher's Xfinity Championship of two years ago, three years ago, however many years ago that was. So it'd be kind of cool if Kurt Busch would be the one to, to break the trend. You know, I'll admit myself, I believe Ford's just had the lucky break that the Chevys uh, switched over. Of course, Unfortunately, Chase is doing good. He got three victories in that new type of Chevy. I guess he's more used to that Chevy than he was of the last year's Chevys. Anyway, that's all for this episode of Big Lee's Corner. I'll try to have a nice day. Oh, crap. I've got to give a shout out. All right. Let me get on this website real quick. I'm going to give this guy a shout out. This may take me a few minutes. So if you want to log off now, go ahead. Because I don't know how long this is actually going to take me. Yeah. If only I would remember this right before starting the video, I would have it written down. So let me give this guy a shout out. He asked for a shout out, so I'm going to give him a shout out. You know, I promised a shout out two days ago, so. And I'm out of words while I'm waiting for this thing to load up. So, if you're not that guy, you can go ahead and log off now. You know the rest. Unfortunately, this crap top takes forever to load up. And I'm trying to find something to yak about while I'm waiting. Uh, I had a little bit over here. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Yeah, and I didn't cover the curtains. So, yeah, sorry about that again. All right. And here's Sheena, the cocaine kitty, joining me. And however, all right, JFW figures. All right, JFW figures. Here's your fucking goddamn lousy ass piece of shit, motherfucking goddamn shout out. And by the way, that's the way I'm going to give my shout outs. I'm not in a pissed off mood. I just love saying it that way. So, JFW figures, here's your shout out. 
Anyway, that's all for this episode of Big Lee's Corner. I'll try to have a nice day. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.